Thousands of people around New York City are wearing free masks handmade by this couple. But what those New Yorkers might not know is the amazing reason why they're doing it. This is Tony and Lily, two Vietnamese immigrants who have run a dry cleaning shop in Brooklyn for over 30 years. Even though their shop has been shut down for two months, Tony and Lily still come to work every day to quietly sew thousands of masks that they give out for free. They've given out over 7,000 masks so far to anyone who asks for one. Brooklyn fan. <laughs> this store is the embodiment of their life's work. I'm a Chinese Vietnamese born, so the Vietnamese government was deporting us. They gave us a little bit of money and, and water to go on a small boat with more than 100 people. The boat sunk and then we, we thought that we would die. No food, no water. It was nightmare. After that, I applied for American refugee. I came to the United States 1981, January. Then I tried to stand up for my life. So keep going, going then. We learn English, we adapt with the environment. Tony got his first job at a dry cleaning shop and after a few years, decided he could try his own. Over 30 years, they built up this shop and their whole life around it. Doing this kind of work, you got to be patient. Very patient. <laughs> I love to come here every day. For me, I come here to see like my family in neighborhood like my family. When I walk, I always think that God, I came here without nothing. We have the work class and then class now. We have three kids and then they all big now. We appreciate this so much. Life is so precious. But then the pandemic hit and the store has been shut down ever since. Many of my friends, they already closed the store. They give up. They just left. If it's going like this next month, we don't know where we got the money to pay the rent. For the first time in decades, Tony and Lily were sitting at home with nothing to do but worry. They heard on the news that people should wear masks. And when the pressure is on, is when you really get to see true colors. I told Tony, just, just use your talent. You are a tailor and you're staying home doing nothing. This will keep you moving so you don't get bored staying home. They had no idea what they were doing, but just started sewing. They started with an ambitious goal make 1,000 free masks for the community. They gave some out to neighbors. And suddenly, everyone in the community was coming to their shop at 130 Union Street in need of masks. And after that, then we keep see people coming, coming, coming. And me and my wife keep going, and we see when they, they run out so quick. So they've been coming to work in their closed shop every single day, working on nothing but masks with clean fabrics that people have donated or they order themselves. When you have a, a, a thing that makes you excited, you, you know what I mean? You don't care about the time anymore. You check one, oh, the customer like it, so we keep doing that. And then people keep calling, calling, and then we go on, and then I don't know how we got up to here, one, 7,000 pieces. <laughs> They've sent boxes and boxes of masks across all five boroughs, New Jersey, Connecticut, going to hospitals, nursing homes, homeless shelters, churches, and whoever else requests them. And even though they don't know how they're gonna pay the rent, they've never thought to charge a dollar. And here's why. We love this country. Give me a chance to become, you know, whatever I want to do. So now this is our turn to say thanks America for everything. We got the chance to go to school, we finished college, we got our own life, we have our own kids, we raised our kids through to college, and then they have job too. We thank everyone, everybody who been supporting us so far. We just doing this out of our heart. I'm Tony. I'm Lily. Right, right here. on.